While researchers trained a computer to recognize sarcasm in the written word, you probably missed underwater robot grippers, the wheelchair that climbs stairs, and the concrete of the future. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where using a Millennium Falcon drone to clear snow would never work for Snowmageddon. And also doesn't really work, period, but it does look fun. Hey, East Coast, we heard you're getting slammed with some bad weather. City officials are urging people to stay off the roads to allow crews to deal with up to 30 inches of snow. But one day, things won't be so bad. This time lapse shows you the beauty of what conductive concrete can do to regular old snow. It's a test strip run by an engineering professor at the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, in its ongoing research into the material. These are the uh, ingredients we use uh, in the conductive concrete mix design. Basically, it's regular concrete with a pinch of steel shavings and carbon particles. The electricity going through it is so low that it's safe to the touch. The FAA is helping to fund the research, and if all goes well, it should be installed at an airport. So you won't go out in any embarrassing moments like this. <laughs> We've seen what happens when machines and staircases mix. It's not pretty. But now, people in wheelchairs won't have to worry about mounting the stepped menace thanks to the new Top Chair S. It's outfitted with tank-like treads in addition to its wheels, which allow the electric wheelchair to climb up and down stairs with ease. Once it gets the FDA's approval, the top chair will retail for around $16,000. Are you tired of your robot ruining all your science experiments? Spare me your philosophical comments, you blithering bumpkin. Frustrated with clunky robot hands destroying fragile marine specimens, Harvard engineers came up with these squishy robot fingers. It's a nice grip, you know. I think this is gonna work great. The new Rover grippers can gently collect objects of different sizes and shapes, access tight spaces, and hang on to irregularly shaped objects. Next, they want to add haptic feedback so operators can feel what the gripper does. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because you've probably run out of free New York Times articles for the month and need to just pay for a subscription already. Astronomers have found evidence for a ninth planet in the solar system. The Sundance app lets you watch virtual reality submitted videos from your couch. Google paid Apple $1 billion to be an iOS default search engine. Skype now hides IP addresses to protect users from online trolls. And 100 classic Atari games land on Steam. At least you'll have some games to play while you're huddled inside with a bottle of whiskey. This episode was brought to you by Go90.